Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 511. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College Headset link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 508 to 513. In uh, this video here we have a messy situation, bad data entry. Here's some names and we have some dashes, some spaces, some periods, some commas. And we want to extract first, middle, last. Uh, now, if the, we're going to presume in this video that we just have a dash, a period, and a comma, we know that those are the characters that shouldn't be there that are there. Uh, if you had lots of characters, then you know it's just a mess. It's just bad data. There's not much you, you can do. Uh, you probably could write some VBA code to, to look through all the different characters. But uh, let's look at a couple examples. What if you just, you know, you had a huge list here and you wanted to remove the dash, the period, and the comma? You could highlight the whole range in Control F for find or Control H for replace. And you could say find all the dashes and replace it with nothing. And then I'm going to say uh, replace all. And so then you could see, whoa, but wait a second, that's not going to work because then it, it actually takes it out and this is like one single name. So I want to close Control Z. How about Control H? Let's put a space and then replace all. all right? So that one works. You could do that kind of thing. And then um, how about um, a period? Make sure that space is there and replace all. OK, and then finally you could do a comma and then uh, replace all. And then you could do whichever um, method you wanted. If you wanted to use a formula, there's some, there's some pretty standard formulas uh, for first, last, and middle. Another way to do it is to do text to column. So you could go uh, highlight this data, text to columns. Um, delimited means it's separated by some commas. Click Next. Now let's see, we don't have any tabs. Well, there's a comma. Now watch what happens when I hit click comma there, so it splits that one out. Um, a space, um, and then other. The problem is we have some others, so we'd have to do this twice. I'm going to, let's see, do the, the dash. Right? You can see, because so it almost gets it, it has the period, finish. So that almost gets it. Um, and you could probably do it um, here another time. You'd have to move these over. And then if there was you know, thousands of them, then split it that way. But anyway, that's another option. Here's another option using a formula. We'll use substitute equals substitute. I'm going to say this text right here. Comma, where, what is the old text we're looking for? In quotes, dash. Uh, double quotes and double quotes, comma, what's the new text? Double quote space, double quote, and then close parentheses. Control Enter. So that's just going to get rid of the da dashes. But watch this. I'm going to hit F2, and we're just going to do substitute, substitute. That's the text, comma, what's the old text? Well, we needed a comma also. So in quotes, that's the old text, and then comma, the new text, double quote, space, double quote. So that's um, two substitutes. And then finally, we'll do one for the uh, substitute. Substitute is pretty nice this way. You can kind of nest a bunch of substitutes and remove a bunch of junk. So uh, we got all that. That's the old text, two substitutes, comma. The old text will be, let's see, a period in double quotes, period, comma, and then the new text is double quote space double quote. So then you cleaned it up. Ah, but we put a bunch of extra spaces in there. No problem. F2, and we're going to use the trim function. The trim function is great. If you put your name and your uh, desired haircut, it'll give you a, a haircut. No, no. If you put in your desired weight and your name and social security number, it'll put you on a date. No, no. Trim removes all spaces except for single spaces between uh, words. Control Enter. So, and then you could, uh, for example, you could uh, copy these, click on the edge and drag down here. So you could do this to the next column. And then when you let go of the right click from drag and you say copy here as values only. And then you could do, how about text to columns? Text to columns would be great. Text to columns, just spaces. Next. 
Um, well, it's, there aren't any, all those other things. So, but just a space, and then click finish. So that's one. So we could use substitute on that. And finally, if you wanted to do some uh, formulas, I'm not going to do these formulas here. You can download this workbook. There's one for uh, first name, one for middle, and one for last. And there's actually a lot of different types of formulas that you see f uh, that people use. Mi I didn't. I don't think I use mid here. There's lots of common formulas for mid. All right, uh, messy data. If you know that there's only those characters, there's some relatively uh, straightforward ways. If the, you don't know how many bad data entries there are and how many different characters, then it's kind of hard. All right, we'll see you next trick.